Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, ResetCharters.com. I'm in uh, Tampa, Florida. That's where I live. This is Davis Island right here. That is Bayshore all the way down there. And uh, right up there is Derek Jeter's house. I'm over here in Tampa Bay on the Davis Island and Bayshore side. Something big just poked its head up out of the water. I'm uh, cruising on the Fish Pro today. It has 2.7 hours on it. And uh, that is the Garmin Fish Finder GPS. I absolutely love this ski. I would play some audio for you, but they'll demonetize the video. But I'm gonna go ahead and pull the plug on this job. Notice everything stays on for a few, well, maybe a minute and a half or so, and then it will turn off. Uh, there is an accessory battery that you can buy uh, separately for this ski. Uh, there's a wiring harness and then you'd buy another battery, which I am going to have uh, installed in this one so that I can use the GPS and the fish finder whenever I turn the ski off. I also will be able to use the audio, which will turn off, like I said, on its own. The cool part about this ski is it's built on the ST3 hull platform, which is amazing. Uh, very stable, very stable. I mean, this thing, I'm literally standing on one side with all my weight and it could take more weight over here than I'm putting on it for sure. Very stable hole design. Oh, there we go. I don't know how many seconds that was. Maybe 30, 45 seconds-ish and everything just turned off. So it gives you an idea of how long uh, everything will stay on without the machine on and without that accessory battery. So just a little bit of a tidbit there. But as far as just the ST3 hull, very stable. Very, very stable. I feel more than confident over here on one side uh, with all of my weight. I do not feel like I'm going to tip over. It feels great. And that leads me to that amazing rear deck. I mean, this thing is huge. It is literally enormous. Again, the rear deck, this is a, I think it's a 13 inch extension. And uh, it, I mean, it's, it works great. You really, you can't even tell it's behind you when you're, when you're going on the ski. I, I like that there's uh, an additional uh, link attachment points on the extension. Uh, additional to the ones in the hull, uh, like on my GTX 300 Limited. Uh, I bought the Fish Pro uh, cooler and rod holders for my GTX and this ski came with it. So you still got your, uh, your step back there on the extension. This extension is bolted on. It is not an, an actual um, extended deck piece as far as from a mold uh, it is an actually bolted on piece so I would imagine that you can get this for any of your ST3 hulls uh, the cool part about the link system is for 19 they brought out the accessory pieces where you can make pretty much any uh, 2011 and up ski well any sea do for sure actually that's not true you could make any ski a link system attachment um, equipped ski because the the attachment points they're just brackets that bolt on and they actually stick up out of your deck so uh, I don't love them I actually love the flush mount here where you can actually utilize the whole deck uh, I didn't bring the cooler today because I'm out by myself I'm not going fishing I'm out here just trying to break this thing in uh, I do like the seat 
one of the biggest benefits to this seat over my GTX seat, which has all the contours for all three positions in it. Uh, the purpose of this design is so that you can be sitting here and then if you get a, a bite or whatever, you can slide right back with no problem at all and you've got all this usable room. So I love it. Um, as far as these footwell covers or whatever you want to call them, um, they are wider than the factory hull is on my GTX. So not only will you not be not have to scratch your footwells all the way up. Let me switch to this side because I can feel the wind hitting me. I hope it's not interfering with my audio too bad. I'm on a GoPro Hero 5. I'm going to upgrade to the 7 probably soon. I'm going to be shooting a lot more uh, personal watercraft videos uh, in the next, well, over the winter. I'm I'm really, really starting to do a lot more with that with my company. Uh, Reset Charters is a, it's a PwC adventure tour company. And we're not only doing tours here in Tampa Bay, uh, but I'm also trying to set up more adventure type uh, tours for tourists where uh, you know if you're from any other state and you want to fly down uh, we can meet you at your destination with skis uh, you know so for example if you want to go down to Key West and you're interested in snorkeling the reef or whatever uh, we would make a trip down there with the skis we'd set up a whole adventure a whole um, a whole well adventure based on uh, what you guys are doing uh, here on vacation. So the, the key would be to get multiple people signed up on these things at the same time so it makes it you know, worth it for us to do it. But I've been, I've been in the waters of Tampa Bay and surrounding areas and in, uh, down in the Keys, all over in the Keys. I mean, that's my favorite destination for vacation myself. And I always take a ski down there, but I've been in, in these waters in Tampa Bay area and down in the Keys, all over the Keys for the past 11 years. So I uh, pretty much know them in and out like the back of my hand. So anyway, that's something I'm working on uh, for this spring coming up. So anyway, very stable. Uh, these little guards help you to not scratch up your finish, your CM Tech material on the the gel coat there and they also offer more grip and a little bit better balance than not having those so it's nice uh, this ski I did get the IBR and audio options uh, the audio is absolutely amazing uh, as far as uh, boat audio can be it is premium sound the bass is nice and and punchy um, the highs are really nice, the mid-range, very good sound for sure. Uh, nice volume, uh, at 50 miles an hour you can still hear it pretty, pretty high up, you can still hear everything very clear. Uh, the IBR, obviously we're in the third generation of IBR, that is the intelligent brake and reverse, works awesome. Um, I don't hate the new display. Uh, it is amber amber backlit all the time, so you can't really see it in the daylight. It, it definitely looks like an afterthought. Maybe they thought, oh, BRP I'm referring to. Maybe they thought, oh, well, we'll upgrade the gauge cluster too, and, and like my GTX. So uh, the GTX 300 Limited went up in price for 2019, and all they did to it was put the new gauge cluster in. I like my 2018 analog and digital combo gauge clusters way better than I like the 2019 uh, job that you see there, all digital. But if you notice, it has turn signals, it has bright light indicator, it has ABS light indicator. Uh, obviously, they pulled this from a side-by-side -side or whatever, whatever they pulled it from, uh, but it was not intended to be a uh, jet ski, or I'm sorry, not a jet, this is not a jet ski, this is a sea -Doo. Um It was not intended to be a uh, personal watercraft 
gauge cluster uh, when it was designed originally. That's obvious because we don't need all of that stuff. We don't have turn signals. We don't have lights at all. It's illegal to ride a uh, PwC after dark, uh, especially here in Florida. Some states, I think it's legal. Uh, I'm very happy with this Garmin. It's, a, it's actually a 2019 Garmin u unit. Uh, it works well. Uh, I do like the mounting uh, location and position. It, it definitely is in a good position for you to see it. Um, I prefer having access to my glove box. I mean, um, I do, I always bring the spare key because I've been known to lose a key. Uh, I do not like that the Fish Pro, and you can see my phone is in there. Uh, this is the Samsung S9 Plus, so it'll take those bigger phones, no problem. I do not like that this ski is not equipped from the factory with the USB port. Seems like a ski where you'd be going offshore uh, you would need USB to charge your devices. And I'm not happy that it didn't come with one. I also am not happy that it cost a hundred, yeah, a hundred ten dollars MSRP. Um, I will get a better deal than that. Um, like I said, I'm also doing the dual battery setup uh, with the wiring harness and I will be doing the USB. Not happy I've got to do that. Uh, my GTX uh, Limited 300 came with it. Uh, obviously the Limited wood, it's literally every option and accessory that they offer. But I'm just not happy that it didn't come with that. Seems like it should have come with that um, just because of the purpose that the ski has. Um, but whatever. Also on my GTX, this cover stays up. On this one it does not. On the GTX, it clicks into place and it stays up. This one does not do that. So uh, not happy about that. You know, not a deal breaker, obviously. I went ahead and purchased the damn thing. You do have all that storage in there. I like that this little mesh bag uh, that is an accessory on the RXT and the RXP and the X versions of those. I believe this is an accessory. It comes with that. That's pretty awesome. It does not come with, I believe that's the safety kit. It did not come with the safety kit. Um, I probably won't buy theirs because it'd be more than I could put one together for. Uh, but not a bad deal. I'm very happy with this ski. Uh, very stable. I'm still breaking it in, but this 155 uh, engine with the uh, 18 and a half gallon fuel tank. Now remember, uh, the current ST3 hull designs have a 15.9 gallon fuel tank. The Fish Pro comes with a uh, 18.5 gallons, so 18 and a half gallons, or if you're on the metric system, it's 70 liters. So uh, two and a half extra gallons of fuel capacity and the naturally aspirated, very reliable, been around for a long time, tried and true 155 horse, uh, 1503 NA, uh, naturally aspirated uh, road tax engine. Awesome, more fuel efficiency, more fuel capacity means longer distances you can go or longer run time if you're just playing around. Very happy with the ski. Like I said, I don't notice that the extension back here affects the performance at all. It's very fun. This ski does have sport mode. Notice I am standing on one side, by the way. Uh, this ski does have sport mode, eco mode, uh, the readout on the dash. I'll give you a little bit of uh, what that looks at like real quick, but I pretty much covered it. Uh, this ST3 hull design is amazing in big water. I've had this thing, well, I've had my GTX an eight foot chop before, and it just slices right through it. Uh, notice your hours are here. It all also has a trip. I've gone seven miles so far, there's trip A and B. Um, 2.7 hours on the ski. It does have VTS, so you can, uh, uh, variable trim system so that you can trim up trim down uh, to get maximum speed better hole shot all of that It has the direction you're going uh, the speed it definitely has uh, the water temperature, which is cool But as far as far as the GPS goes it will give you your depth. It has a um, a low uh, shallow water alarm all kinds of cool stuff. It's missing that mirror because that's where the mount goes 
I don't ever use my mirrors anyway. Uh, most of the time they're they're not adjustable, so the angles in which that they are when your um, your ski is angled in different positions, a lot of times you can't see it well anyway, uh, out of it anyway. So it's freaking out because it thinks we're in shallow water, which I don't believe that to be true. Oh, that's it is true. Wow, look at that. It is freaking out. Wow, I didn't realize it was so shallow, shallow out here. Never, ever have I ever noticed how shallow this is. Wow, you can hear it beeping. Now we're getting into deeper water, but you can see shallow water alarm. I love that feature. Unfortunately, it's not a feature of the ski. It's a feature of that GPS unit. Notice how it's getting deeper. I think I have it set to five feet, so it should be going off soon. There we go. All right, well that was interesting. Didn't realize we were in such shallow water. But anyway, that's what the gauge cluster looks like. If it were darker, you'd see the amber backlight. I don't know, maybe you can see. Well, a little bit maybe. But that is an actual owner's comprehensive review of the 2019 Sea-Doo Fish Pro. I absolutely love it. Now you can nitpick all day long, but you got to remember companies have to please the majority. They are not out to please everybody. However, they want to please as many people as they can, obviously, to gain that market share. So as a business owner myself, I understand there's no perfect option. Perf and, I, and I preach this in my detailing business uh, where I sell product to other detailers. I show detailers how to you know, make more money in their businesses and, and how to do a better job, make their customers happier and that kind of thing. The bottom line is perfection is not reality. And anybody who thinks otherwise, you've got another thing coming. That's the bottom line. Perfection is not reality. So. All you can ask for is something that is about 75 to 85% in my opinion. I would say 80%, if you can find something that's 80% what you want and maybe you can work on it to get that uh, another 10% out of it, I'd say you're doing pretty good. That's just one man's opinion. Just like everything you've heard here today, this is a comprehensive review on not only the facts about the fish pro but also how i feel about it so i'm gonna get back to uh rolling on the well i'm not on the river anymore but uh there is Derek jeter's house if you've never seen it from tampa bay that is it that is a massive massive lot and a massive house notice how all the other houses are smaller so that's it right there the home of Derek Jeter. Well, the Davis Island, Tampa Bay home of Derek Jeter. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you guys that listen to me babble, and I'm sorry that this video is almost 20 minutes long. It is what it is, but I'm off to have more fun. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out detailjuice.com, and if you want to go on a tour with me in Tampa Bay or any of my, the other places we're going to do adventures to, let me know. We're also, I am putting together uh, rigs for my other skis where I'd be able to take you guys out fishing. I know some pretty cool fishing sh uh, spots uh, inshore, uh, but I'm also working on uh, some other stuff for offshore. Anyway, 813-846-4406 is my cell phone if you need me. Have a great day, guys.